Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. And welcome to this video which is all about Mercury Retrograde. Now this is as per the sidereal Vedic system of astrology. If you're new to this system and you'd like to find your ascendant, your moon sign and your sun sign, you can do that by clicking on the link below. That will take you to a chart calculator. You'll be able to find out your signs and then you'll be able to take advantage of the mini reports which I will be providing via clickable links. You'll be able to just jump into your sign and see how this is going to work for you. But for those of you who would like to stick around for the intro, I'm going to talk a little bit more generally about how this retrograde is going to play out, how, how I see and interpret this retrograde. So we've got Mercury retrograding in Taurus. Okay, Taurus is lauded by Venus. So for me, when I see Mercury and Venus together, I always think of art. I think of art, I think of culture, I think of creativity. You know, this is really that kind of area that we're dealing with here. When I look at how this is playing out in the sky, we've got Mercury alone uh, for a little while, and then is, Mercury will be joined by the Sun on the 15th of May. Then Mercury is going to receive some aspect from Mars until the 17th of May. So that's from now. Now I'm recording this on the 11th of May. I'm sorry everyone, I'm a little bit late on this video. I'm recording it today when the Mercury retrograde starts. And yeah, today we do have this Mars aspect uh, happening on Mercury at the moment. So that is going to last until the 17th of May. Then we're going to have Mercury Kazemi the Sun. Okay, now. Some people will phrase this as, you know, combustion and that kind of thing. Well, I'm looking specifically at Kazemi. Kazemi is a planet being in the heart of the sun. So this is a planet being, I believe this is within one degree of the sun, basically. And when that happens, the planet will take on a special power. It, it, it becomes even more powerful, even more insightful, even more able. Isn't that incredible? So we've got Mercury, Kazemi, the sun, on the 22nd of May and for each sign I'm going to share with you how I think that will play out for every single sign. And in terms of my interpretation of this retrograde, what do I believe will happen? What, what do I believe this is about? Well, this is, I think, a revision of your creative output. I think this is to do with creativity. I think this is a really good time for each of us individually to look at our creativity, what we're putting out into the world, what we're putting out in a material or a physical kind of a way. I'll give you an example. I was thinking about this, how you know this Mercury retrograde is going to play out. And I feel like in the last few days, I have been working with this energy because recently, and I'll put a link above, I'll put a little image as well. I reformatted my master's series and it's so interesting because last year towards the end of last year I think I said to everyone that I want to output I have like four of them and I just want to you know I just want to get these master's series out because it's my favorite thing to make and you know they take the longest to make they're the hardest to make and you know they're the most kind of complicated but I try to make them really simple and easy to consume but it takes a lot of time and I was supposed to do a whole bunch of them last year, but I ended up doing a tarot deck instead. So I was busy designing that and there was just too much work going on. And then this year I wanted to get back into doing the masters, get back into doing something that feels artistic and really fun for me. And I just kind of had this feeling that I have to rework it. I have to completely re-strategize, rework it. So that part of my creative output, I have totally reinvented and reworked. And I've done that in such a way that hopefully I'll be able to output more of those because I know some of you really enjoy those episodes. It's just kind of light, easy viewing. You can kind of learn something about 
the master of the day and you can learn a bit about their astrology. It's just kind of an easy, fun way to learn. So I think that my reworking of this has a little something to do with Mercury retrograde in Taurus. I think that energy is coming in here. I'm currently making the next master's episode and hopefully I can be a bit more consistent with my output and put more of those out there, actually create more of those. So I've been looking at the structure and but just revising it totally, just completely doing it in a new way. And that has been a lot of fun. So I think this Mercury retrograde in Taurus is very much, I think it's great for artists. I think it's great for people who are, maybe if you're self-employed or there's a product that you put out into the world or there's something that, it's something to do with output, it's something to do with what you make, it's something to do with your creativity, and it's something to do with revising or re-strategizing how you do that. You're gonna have extra power to be able to do that at this time. That is how I'm seeing this Mercury retrograde. At the start of this video, I will be sharing with you, I went out for a day and I'm going to share that with you now. I actually think me going out for the day, I think that has a little something to do with Saturn being in Aquarius. And those of you who've been following me for a while, you know that I am, you know, I, I operate my business from England. Uh, that is actually my home, but then I've come back to Sydney 2020, ill health brought me back, I had to be here, you know, for all that time. And I went out for a day, it was pretty incredible, this was, I think it was last weekend, and I'll edit that footage and I'll put it at the start of this video. Now that is to do with Saturn in Aquarius. And I think Saturn in Aquarius, so some of you might be noticing, and I'm just doing a total tangent here, a little detour, we're going away from Mercury retrograde, let's talk about Saturn in Aquarius. I think Saturn in Aquarius is going to take me back out to the world. So I'm going to be completing my transit soon and this 2.5 month taste of Saturn that we're in right now gave me a day out. I, I hopped on a ferry, I went to this incredible uh, market that was just in full swing, people were having lots of fun. and. I felt like Saturn gave me a little bit of a treat of a day and, and, and you know, took me out. There was an appointment I had to go to and uh, I just happened to catch a ferry. I just happened to have a coffee and watch these jazz musicians and it was amazing. So I've noticed a shift with Saturn in Aquarius already. I know some of you have commented and you've said that you are also noticing a shift. You're noticing more energy. You're noticing that you're a bit more clear. You're noticing um, things are going a bit smoother for you. I've definitely been noticing all those things myself as well and I've been kind of very carefully observing this 2.5 month period that I'm in and I'm noticing really good energy already. So do observe this time for changes with Saturn in Aquarius. You might be observing certain things. Certain things, yeah, and so the Mercury retrograde, I do think that has been impacting my creativity and it has impacted my master's series and how I've been putting that together. Isn't that interesting? So these things really do have an impact on our daily lives. Uh, let's have a look here. In the early part of Mercury retrograde, you're going to be, well, want, you're going to want to be careful of how you speak to family members. That's just a thing, okay? We've got Mercury retrograde in Taurus, Taurus is family. Be careful with your family. You know, you might be tempted to, to say too much uh, or be, you know, uh, in, in some of the signs in particular, some signs are prone to arguments here. So just be careful. It's a really great time to revise your diet. If you need to revise your diet, if you need to change something there, this is a really good time to do that. Maybe you want to experiment, maybe you want to change something along those lines, that this would be a good time to experiment. Now we've got Venus exalted until the 23rd. Okay, how does this factor in? How I'm gonna read this is that you should be very careful with what you buy, especially if you're buying something very expensive, some kind of designer expensive object. So, you know, it could be a designer handbag, it could be a designer watch or something like that, something that you don't purchase very often. But if you're going to make that kind of purchase during this Mercury retrograde, make sure you really like it, okay? Because this is the kind of time where if you're just buying on a whim or you're not thinking too much about it, you might change your mind afterwards. 
So we do have shopping and stuff in this part of the zodiac as well. You know, we've got art, we've got culture, we've got beauty, we've got uh, food, all that kind of thing happening here in Taurus. We've got family, we've got wealth, we've got money here too. So you know, it's, this could Mercury retrograde could be impacting things like savings, money, wealth, finances. But I'm not quite seeing this in a stock market context. I'm seeing this in a like large savings kind of context. That that kind of money. Um, there could be revision to that or changes with, with those kind of things. And if you have to change your finances at this time or see a financial advisor even, this could be a really good time to do that, to review your personal finances. This could be a great time for that. So let's take a look. Yes, the other thing I wanted to say is that you're going to have more mercury power. Okay, so for some of you, this is going to be great. Some of you are going to feel a lot more concentration, a lot more focus at this time. You are going to be able to perhaps re-strategize sections of your life and achieve more success. Or, you know, just Mercury is the ultimate strategist. You know, he's, he's terrific at strategizing, planning, thinking about things, overthinking things, right? If you're, if you're a real thinker, then this is a great time for you. Now on the 22nd, that's when we've got the Sun, Kazemi, Mercury, Mercury, Kazemi, Sun. That is happening. So look out for amazing ideas. And I definitely think that this is a great time for artists, for creative people, for re-strategizing your output. You know, if you're a business person, what it is you sell or your art, great time to re-strategize. So I think we're just about ready to take a look at the mini reports. Aries, Aries welcome. So this could be Aries Ascendant, Aries Moon, Aries Sun. You are going to have Mercury Retrograde in your second house. So in the early part of Mercury Retrograde, definitely be careful how you speak with family members. That's going to be important. Well, that Mars aspect there. The health of your siblings might be in focus or it could just be something to do with your health. And your siblings okay so it could be in that way we've got mercury lord of the third and the sixth um, but ultimately you're going to benefit from this energy so i think this is should be a good time for you to make some progress on certain things now it's a really great time if you want to review or restructure something at work creatively you might get a lot of appreciation from your co-workers you might get people around you seeing how much thought you've put into something or you know seeing how carefully you've reviewed or restructured something and they might really appreciate that you know um, you might you might be noticed by co-workers or seniors at this time this could be really good we've got Sun Kazemi Mercury on the 22nd so look out for great ideas or creativity definitely to do with work could even be to do with your finances or your big wealth. You might get some ideas or insights on how to restructure or reorganize some of that. Could manifest in that way. Uh, yeah, but on the whole, it's looking like a good transit for you, Aries. I'm not seeing anything too concerning for you here. Taurus, welcome. So this is Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Moon or Taurus Sun. You've got Mercury retrograding in your first house. Okay, so definitely take some extra care if you need to travel at this time. This is a good time for you to build in buffer time if you're traveling, any of that. Expenses might run a little bit higher at this time. Be careful how you speak in all of your relationships, okay, across the board, especially with your spouse uh, if you're married. Just take a bit of extra care there. And you might gain amazing new insights or ideas for your health or for your physical body, you might get, get some inspiration or some download, something that will help you transform your health. It could be diet related as well. And that is on the 22nd of May. So that is when Sun is Kazemi Mercury. But Taurus, other than those things, it's looking like a good transit. You might find that you have a little bit more concentration power at this time. This is happening around that area of your mind. So you might be able to focus uh, a bit more than normal. So look out for that as well. We are now going to welcome Gemini. Gemini, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Gemini Ascendant, Gemini Moon or Gemini Sun. 
Now Mercury retrogrades in your 12th house. So if you have to travel, it should be fine, but I would just say build in some buffer time, okay? That's gonna be important. You wanna just build in some extra time, make sure you get to the airport early, review docu your documents, all that kind of thing. Don't be in a rush. Expenses could really increase at this time. You've got Mars approaching Jupiter there, so you might be tempted to get the credit card out a little bit more than normal. Uh, and that could be for work expenses. I would just say, be careful there. Um, be careful how you speak with your spouse at this time. Could be some more arguments, might happen. So just take a bit of extra care. And we've got Mercury Kazemi the Sun on the 22nd. So you might get great spiritual ideas or insights that will really help you transform your subconscious mind. This could be amazing. If there's some particular pattern that you've wanted to overcome or improve or, and this really is core belief type stuff. This really is the I'm not good enough type thing. You know, on the 22nd, you might get some incredible ideas as to how you can just you know, not have those kind of thoughts standing in your way. You know, you might find some ways and kind of tricks up your sleeve where you can uh, really, yeah, use kind of use the mind to conquer the mind. Isn't that amazing? So Gemini, I'm loving this for you. Um, I think this could be a good time, especially with the gaining of insights and ideas. But I would say be careful. This is, especially if you're traveling, traveling expenses and how you speak with your spouse, be careful on those fronts. Okay, that is for sure. You will wanna take care. Build in buffer time, don't rush. All right, we are now gonna welcome Cancer. Cancer, welcome, thank you so much for joining. So this is Cancer Ascendant, Cancer Moon, Cancer Sun. Now, Mercury is retrograding in your 11th house. Okay, this is beautiful. I love this, this is good. You've got a nice thing here, Cancer. Uh, you, you're set to benefit from some extra Mercury power if you decide to use it. So your siblings might be more helpful than normal or friends, people in your network circle might be more helpful. You know, this is, this is quite possible at this time. Or because Mercury is more powerful and we're getting more of that Mercury gaze and the Earth is, you know, moving a bit faster so that we get more of that Mercury gaze, you might find some friends have more time for you or more ability to help you or, or this kind of thing. Um, there could be opportunities at work, could be opportunities for promotions, you know, the other thing is that at work you should be listened to. If you speak, if you have something to say, especially if you have something to say around re-strategizing or revising or redoing something, it's, it's a good idea to speak up because you might be listened to at this time. We've got Mercury Kazemi, the sun, on the 22nd. So this could reveal some new ideas, new insights. It could even reveal a new talent. A new hidden talent of yours might come to the fore on the 22nd. So Cancer, I'm loving this, this transit for you. All around, it's, it's looking quite good. You're gonna benefit from this extra mercurial power that we have at this time. So thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now gonna meet Leo. Leo, welcome, thank you so much for joining. Now Mercury, before I start on my spiel here, this is Leo Ascendant, Leo Moon and Leo Sun. Now Mercury is gonna retrograde in your 10th house. Okay, so you're one of the lucky ones. Yeah, you're set to benefit from this extra Mercury power. Okay, we've got Mercury, the Earth is going faster. This is why we have this seeming retrograde motion, but all it means is that Mercury's given the Earth some more of its gaze, right? So this is actually good for you. This is good for your work. You can restructure something successfully at this time. It's great for work projects where you want to re-strategize, restructure, reinvent something. You know, if there's something you need to revise, go back to, tinker with it, make it better. This is a really good time to be doing that. You can also restructure anything as well, um, things to do with your wealth as well and how you bring in opportunities. So that could be for your company or within your career where you're helping the company restructure itself to bring in more money, bring in opportunities. But you could be doing that for yourself personally and that can be things like updating your CV, 
um, you know, making improvements to your network or all those kind of activities. We've got Mercury Lord of the second and eleventh houses. So this is about wealth. This is about the big money and the big opportunities, right? So you can be quite effective if you are strategizing or re-strategizing how you do those areas of your life. We've got Mercury Kazumi the Sun on the 22nd. So look out for insights regarding either work or spirituality as well. Uh, yeah, you could get some amazing insights, downloads, ideas, all that kind of thing. Leo, I'm really liking the look of uh, how this can be for you. Of course, take all the necessary, you know, Mercury retrograde precautions of just, especially if you're dealing with contracts and things like that, maybe, you know, don't rush and relook at everything, right? It's all the rewords, revise, relook, re-strategize, all that. So do all those things, but you should be fine. We are now going to welcome Virgo. Virgo, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Now, this is for Virgo Ascendant, Virgo Moon, Virgo Sun. You will have Mercury retrograding in your ninth house. So this is going to be a transit where you will want to be careful and take extra care in how you speak with your father or how you speak with your spouse at this time. Expenses could be a lot higher. Be careful of using your credit card. You might be tempted just to take the credit card out, especially if it's in regards to work or travel. That's quite possible. Um, so just be careful of that or just be aware of that. There will be other transits later where you'll be able to pay that down. So, you know, you might need to do that. Uh, if you can work harder with the extra power, you will benefit from that. So basically, we've got extra mercury power at this time. If you put your head down and you do your work and you're very humble and you don't challenge anyone, you could really get ahead. You could accelerate at this time. So do your work, definitely. And, you know, you put the foot on the accelerator a little bit. You might you might be able to go a bit faster here. I, I do see that. We've got Mercury Kazemi, the sun on the 22nd. So this could bring insights uh, and or ideas that are mind expanding. OK, this could be as well insights that help you bring in more fortune as well. So, you know, expand your wealth. If you're wanting to expand your wealth, if you need ideas around that, this could be a really good time to be thinking about that or even to be restructuring your wealth or that kind of thing. You could see it in that way. But Virgo, it's looking okay. It's looking quite good for you. And of course, take all the usual Mercury retrograde precautions of, uh, you know, rechecking documents, taking your time, don't rush, all of that. All right. We are now going to welcome Libra. Libra, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Libra Ascendant, Libra Moon, Libra Sun. Mercury is going to retrograde in your eighth house. Oh, I like this. So this is good. You've got some extra power here and you've got some extra power that you can profit from, you can benefit from. This transit is going to bring you some wisdom. Okay, it's going to light up the darkness. You're going to see things. You're going to understand more things. It might give you some ideas on how to restructure your finances uh, or your work so that you can bring more money in. You might be able to restructure projects at work. That, and if you do that, that is likely to be successful at this time. Any behind the scenes work you undertake will also be successful at this time. Another thing is that you might be able to intuit or understand the agendas of some of the people at your work a little bit better because of Mercury being retrograde. He's more powerful here and he's in this place. So look out for that. See if you can kind of understand the deeper dynamics. As I was saying, kind of understand the deeper dynamics of what's happening in your workplace. We've got Mercury Kazemi the Sun on the 22nd. So this could bring deep insights or ideas of all kinds. You'll be more psychic at this time. You may uncover hidden secrets. So I'm very excited for that for you, Libra. Enjoy this transit. It's a good one. All right, we are now going to welcome Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So now Mercury retrogrades your seventh house. But before we get into that, this is Scorpio Ascendant, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Sun. So Mercury is going to retrograde your seventh house. OK, not an ideal time to travel. If you absolutely have to travel, do that. You'll be fine. OK, I'm not saying anything bad's going to happen. But what I am saying is build in some buffer time. 
double check your documents. So, you know, get to the airport early. Don't leave it too late or too fine. Revise your documents. Build in the buffer time. That's going to help out. Be careful of how you speak with seniors at work. Be careful how you speak with your family, especially your spouse uh, and or your children. If you're feeling tired, definitely rest, okay? So now, I haven't had to say this for too many other signs. For you, there is a little bit of a, a health thing. This could be a bit impactful on your physical body, energy-wise. So rest, take breaks if you need to. We've got Mercury Kazemi the Sun on the 22nd. This could bring ideas or insights into your relationships. You might get some ideas about how to better communicate actually or how to rebalance a relationship as well. If you're observing that there are some relationships that are out of balance around you, you might get some ideas and insights on how to rebalance things. So that's actually a really nice part of this transit for you. And what I would say is, yeah, definitely a bit of meditation there on the 22nd. You're going to want to get those insights and jot them down if you find them. Scorpio, thank you so much for joining. And we are now going to welcome Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Sagittarius Ascendant, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Sun, and this Mercury is going to retrograde in your sixth house. I love this. This is great. You are going to benefit from this extra Mercury power, okay? So if you need to revise a strategy or a plan, this is the time to do it. If there's something you want to revise, especially when it comes to career, especially when it comes to career moves, or how you plan to move forward in life. If you want to revise that or tinker with the strategy, this is a great time to do that. You're going to have some extra power to win legal cases, potentially um, win over the competition, win over your boss or difficult clients even. Basically, when we've got Mercury in retrograde, he just looks retrograde in our sky. That's because the Earth is moving a bit faster. They're all moving forward. But, you know, the earth, earth is moving a bit faster, so we get more of that Mercury gaze. And this is happening for you in a good place. So I'm liking this energy for you, Sagittarius. You will, though, want to observe some of the classic Mercury retrograde things. For you, you're going to want to be careful of how you speak to seniors at work. But do be confident in your plans, okay? Be confident in your plans. Present your plans. See how they go. You should be listened to at this time. We've got Mercury Kazemi, the sun, on the 22nd. So this is great for artists across the board. So if you've got any artists watching, but um, this is also great to gain insights into how to progress in life, how to plot your next moves in your career. You might get some really great insights at this time. The other thing is if you work for clients or do that kind of thing, you, you, know, you serve clients, all of that, you might have some great insights and ideas for them on the 22nd. So Sagittarius, I'm loving this transit for you. It's happening in a good place and that extra Mercury power is something that you'll actually be able to use and benefit from. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are now going to welcome Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Capricorn Ascendant, Moon or Sun, and you're going to have Mercury retrograde in your fifth house. Okay, this is going to be a transit where you will want to be careful with how you speak to seniors at work or your children or your employees if you are a boss, okay? Uh, don't be too hard on the employees at this time. Now students might find it harder to concentrate at this time, so take breaks because ideas come to a rested mind. And I remember when I first heard that, I was so happy because I do have a little bit of a tendency to procrastinate. I do have a tendency to, you know, after maybe half an hour, 45 minutes of work, I need to like dip into some unrelated video, like an astrology video or something, right? But you know, it's well for me, that's part of my work. So I can, I can watch those legitimately, but you know, maybe, maybe you want to tune into a pick a card, right? But honestly, ideas come to a rested mind. Every now and then they have done studies and they've found that, you know, it's good to work. I'm pretty sure it's good to work in like half hour, 45 minute blocks and then take a little five minute break 
and then start again with a half hour, 45 minute block, that type of thing. Uh, that's going to be quite effective. So see if you want to experiment with that. Definitely be careful with stocks or investments, share trading or you know money or anything where there's some risk involved. Be careful with that at this time. We've got Mercury Kazemi the Sun on the 22nd. So you might get excellent creative ideas or insights at this time. And this is to do with your creativity, your expression, you know, um, your ideas. You, you might get some great ideas for creativity at this time. Capricorn all up, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Um, do be careful, do do all the Mercury retrograde type stuff of, you know, um, building in buffer time and, and don't rush and all that kind of thing. We are now going to welcome Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Aquarius Ascendant, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Sun. Now Mercury retrogrades in your fourth house. Okay, this is really good. This is Mercury in the fourth house is a good thing. And you're going to potentially benefit from some extra Mercury power. So we've got, you know, the Earth moving a bit faster at this time, which is why we get that seeming retrograde motion, okay? We get more of Mercury's gaze. So you get more Mercury power at this time. This is really good for students. This is really good for concentration. So if you're studying any of that type of thing, this is really good for that. Your ideas at work should be well received at this time, especially if there are ideas around revising or restructuring or making something better transforming something, you know, that, that should be well received at this time. You could be re-strategizing property plans or deals. Uh, if you are re-strategizing something to do with your home, that should go well at this time. We've got Mercury Kazemi the Sun on the 22nd. So you could have ideas or insights regarding your home, your home life. Maybe there's something you want to change or you want to plan something new, you want to do something, you know, you, you want some change regarding your home. That could be your physical property, but that could be where you live as well. Uh, relationship with your mother, you know, you might have something illuminate in your subconscious mind that's going to, and I'm kind of getting the concept of like, yeah, even like um, something might illuminate that will help you nurture yourself better, you know? And this is a little bit of that taking power back from the parents type stuff, right? Or how can we, you know, become more independent or do our own thing or, or whatever? Yeah, something along these lines. Uh, that could be quite interesting. So that's Mercury Kazemi, the sun on the 22nd. See what ideas, insights, even dreams or things like that happen around that time. That could be quite interesting for you Aquarius. We are now going to welcome Pisces. Pisces, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is Pisces Ascendant, Pisces Moon, Pisces Sun. We've got Mercury retrograding in your third house. So this one is, yeah, you're going to want to be careful here. If you're traveling, build in extra buffer time. That's going to be important. You're going to want to revise your documents, you know, get to the airport early, all that kind of thing. That's going to be important. Take care in how you speak with all of your relationships. Okay, this is one where, yeah, you want to you want to be careful with um, how you express yourself. Just you know, I think before you speak that kind of thing. That that's just a good habit to have anyway. But <laughs> uh, expenses might shoot up at this time. That's another thing that we have happening here. You might be tempted to get out the credit card, spend extra, that kind of thing. You might have to, there will be transits later where you'll be able to pay that down, but that's just something to be aware of, that your expenses might run higher at this time. We've got Mercury Kazemi, the sun on the 22nd. So this is good for ideas and or insights that might boost your confidence. Uh, you know, and the other thing is if you're in a situation where you're wondering, how should I approach someone? How should I speak with this person? Because there's something you have to sort out and you're not quite sure how to do that. You'll get ideas and insights on how to go about that process at this time. So that is what I'm seeing there for you Pisces. But I wanna thank all those of you who watch these videos. Thank you so much. 
to everyone who watches. It's such a joy to do these videos. I love this work. I'm so lucky I get to do it. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes. I should have said this at the beginning. I forgot to tell everyone to subscribe. But please do subscribe. Please do like. Please do all that fun stuff. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.